quantitative easing means that the Fed is going to print a ton of money. The Fed just recently announced a $600 billion program. The Fed is running the printing presses and causing inflation. I was worried when you initially warned me, but I do not believe that is the case. We have many economic problems, but the inflationary nature of quantitative easing is not one of them. I believe that you have misinformed many people. What do you mean? The Fed is going to purchase treasuries from the banks and will print the money necessary to do so. Let us not jump to conclusions. We must first consider the nature of a treasury security. There is nothing to consider. Treasuries are securities issued by the government with a set rate and duration. The Fed is going to create money out of thin air to buy them from the banks. This must be inflationary, but the securities are denominated in dollars. Who is the sole issuer of dollars? Are these dollars even convertible? The Fed issues dollars. These dollars have not been convertible since Nixon unilaterally ceased the gold convertibility of the dollar in 1971. It now says Federal Reserve note on my dollar bill. So just what is my dollar these days? What exactly is a Federal Reserve note? A dollar is nothing but a liability of the federal government, just like the treasuries to which you were referring. It differs in that it lacks duration and does not pay any interest, so what? The Fed is still going to create new dollars to purchase the treasuries under a quantitative easing, but the point is that your dollars are a liability just like the treasuries. They just differ in rate and duration. The treasuries that the banks have purchased are the same type of liability as a dollar, okay? Yes, we have a debt-backed monetary system, but I do not understand how that affects my point on quantitative easing. The banks already have the treasuries on their balance sheets and the Fed is going to create new money to purchase them. This new money must be inflationary. The point is that when the banks purchase treasuries, all they have done is swap their dollars for the same government liabilities of a different rate and duration. The Fed is going to do the same type of swapping under a quantitative easing. How do you mean? The Fed is planning to perform the same type of swap that the banks did when they purchased the treasuries with their dollars. The Fed is seeking to change the duration and rate of the liabilities on the bank balance sheets by converting the treasuries to more reserves at the Fed. I think I'm finally getting what you are saying. Dollars and treasuries are all the same type of liability. They just differ in their characteristics of rate and duration. Yes, you are correct. The creation of money in which the Fed is engaging is just the addition of more bank reserves in the same dollar amount of the treasuries that the banks currently hold and which the Fed wishes to purchase. I think I understand. So the bank balance sheets will have the same liabilities, but the rates and duration will be changed. Quantitative easing will alter the treasury characteristics of $600 billion of liabilities on bank balance sheets. That same $600 billion will then assume the characteristics of bank reserves at the end of the program. They will have no duration and pay much less interest, but will still be the same type of liability. That is correct. That is the aim of the Fed. They are not really altering the money supply. The same $600 billion remains with different characteristics. I do not think this is a good plan, but it is nonetheless not an inflationary one. Forgive me. I was worried about the state of our economy and may have jumped to conclusions. I'm very worried about the state of our economy as well. It is therefore very important that we understand what is truly going on so that we may better address these complex issues. I'm sorry YouTube. We have many problems, but worrying about a $600 billion increase in the money supply does not appear to be one of them.